All right, in the employee module is where you're going to track employee information, and this is also where you can control what they can do in the system. So uh, this is actually the local admin view. If you log in as a local admin, which is the highest possible privilege set, then you're going to be able to see everyone and make changes to anything. Uh, if you are not a local admin, then your view is just going to be for your own employee record. So it'll look something like this. Mm -hmm. When you go to that record, the profile view is where you're going to be able to affect what they do in the system. So this is the forms that they're able to sign for those inspection forms that we reviewed. The infers report, what can they do on the infers? Are they able to just assign it to someone? Can they actually write a report? Or is it the highest privilege of being able to approve them and open anything? Uh, we also have the authorizations, which allows you to control the functions in the system. So can they create duty roster records, delete them? Can they do things in the training module, system setup, work details, or even the equipment module? The view over here is actually what the employee can change so they can update their own contact information, addresses, emergency contacts. The private tab is where we can put in their driver's license information and signatures for those inspection forms. This is also where you're going to control passwords and things. Uh, so you can reset their password for them if they need to. They can change it if they want to. We've got closing, clothing expenses. And the equipment module actually allows you to assign to a person now. So this popover is going to be the replacement for this portal in the future. Uh, you're going to actually be assigning it to a person. And then here you'll be able to see what was assigned to them but the assignment will actually be done in the equipment module. The training tab, this is available for you uh, for all of the training. So as I mentioned, training is, has a couple of aspects to it, but it doesn't matter how you record your training. In the end, all training gets finalized and that finalized training gets posted here to the training tab. And this is where you would print the final records. So if you need to provide a proof of training for something, or if you need to provide ISO training reports, um, you would do it from this portal. They can also record any type of training that they've done on their own in the employee initiated training. Certs and dates we saw in the information console that you can follow along with certifications that are gonna be expiring. This is actually where you record them. Uh, you can put in when you received it, when it expires, what their number was, what the level is, and you can post a certificate of completion or a picture front and back of a card. And then the dated items tracking on the right-hand side, this is allowing you to track you know, promotions, military leave, really anything date related that you're interested in, you can have that recorded in there. The medical injury tab, uh, they can add something here if they need to. The right-hand side is inverse focus. So if you filled out an inverse five prior casualty form because of an injury, it's automatically gonna post in this portal under their name. Uh, and then if you had a special study that tracks a hazardous exposure, it wasn't an injury, but they might've been exposed to some type of hazard, then that will be posted here. So that kind of gives you a, an update automatically based on the inverse. But the left-hand side is just a portal view, and this can be managed in the system setup as well. So it's really unlimited. Um, a lot of departments actually tracked uh, COVID with their members through this portal. Uh, members that got COVID, that were quarantined, family COVID, things like that. And then the documents uh, is available for you to be able to post anything. Uh, the employee themselves is able to see everything in all of these tabs. We are working on defining an admin only tab, which would be available for you to be able to post discipline actions, uh, comments, commendations, anything like that. And it wouldn't be viewable to the employee unless you want it to be. Uh, and anyone can, uh, you'd be able to control who can post to it, who sees it, that kind of stuff. Uh, so that's coming in the future, uh, but currently uh, the employee sees everything here.